All right, everyone, here's our uh, 8360R uh, tractor that we push with. Um, we have a LaForge front three point on it, and uh, we run a 12 foot Degelman blade, and uh, then we have a block on the back that we put put on. It's uh, two three by three by six concrete blocks that we hang off this uh, front three point, and uh, we it, it's somewhere around somewhere around 6,000 6,500 pounds. Uh, makes a good makes for a good uh, push and pack tractor. And uh, up here in the cab, if you can see very good here, but we have uh, it's the IVT with the uh, right hand reverse F1, F2, and the hydraulics what we use here for for up and down and stuff. Um, so we had uh, we have the privilege to to run a, a fat. 936 and that was kind of a uh, try to compare apples to apples of, of push tractors and and so we took the we took the uh, our blade off took our block off uh, the tires are the same size the 18 fours uh, 42s no 18450s R50s so uh, the tire configuration is very similar the only difference is is, is our uh, 8360 the, the tread is wore down quite a bit more but uh, we kind of want to see horsepower for horsepower uh, compared to uh, to each other and see how they did so so here is here's the the 936 uh, fent. It's got. Uh, it has a built-in front three-point here, uh, an extra brace here, and then also an extra brace underneath here. It goes back, I believe, close to the draw bar. I'm not. Sh I think somewhere there. And the front hydraulics here to run our four-way blade. Um, really nice tractor here. Uh, we'll check the back out here. It also have the quick hitch on there, and also it has a center link hydraulic cylinder, which makes it nice for for hooking up uh, anything three point. That's what we have for our mowers. We have a, a 824 that we mow hay with with a cloth triple mower. That hydraulic center link is is a is a huge game changer there. So we'll hop we'll hop on up in here. Check this out. Um, here's the fan controllers. It's uh, very, uh, very, very sweet. And this uh, toggle switch here, um, the way I understand it, you can pretty much program anything to do anything in this whole console, especially these two rigs. So when we're pushing, we can go forward or put the blade down, pick the blade up, and also just side to side, and it runs just pretty much like a joystick. And then also the forward and reverse on our deer, we have to pull the lever back into reverse, and uh, that takes your hand off off the hydraulic. So here you just you can just pop it sideways, and you go forward to backwards, or you have this left hand reverser here, and so it's very more uh, way easier for the operator to uh, to go forward backwards. You don't take your hands off. The joystick makes it a lot easier for the blade handling, and uh, yeah, so this is a this is a pretty sweet rig. The only downside that I heard so far of the guys running it was, uh, yes, the visibility out the front is not quite um, quite like the deer. Um, but as far as the comfort features, I think it's it's second to none. Um, the ride is phenomenal. The the power. The power was uh, of what I seen running was was pretty nice, pretty good. So, uh, so yeah. So it's uh, these fence are kind of the real deal, especially in our area. Um, we have a an, an exceptional dealership. Um, they were 
they are the first Fent dealership around our area. Uh, the head mechanic was one of my friends when I went to the vocational school for ag mechanics. And he's got somewhere around that close to 20 years experience on Fent. And uh, experience and knowledge on a tractor, you, you cannot replace that. I mean, and, he, and another thing is he lives right down the road from us. So parts, knowledge, just a question on the, on the tractor, uh, late night calls, whatever. He knows it. So uh, the John, he's kind of the main man for the Fent, and Lau and Young is the dealership, and uh, and they, they're they're kind of the real deal.